be sure to stick around to the end of the video because I have some surprises to show you. I have some surprises, especially one we've been all working on. I consider it a very much a group effort and you will be amazed how it looks on a wall. Everybody. I hope you're all well. I'm gonna adjust here just a little. There. There we go. It's a breeze out tonight. It's in the 70s. It's beautiful. A little humid, but not bad. Not bad because there's a breeze. <laughs> this has been a very nice weekend. However, <laughs> yesterday, <clears throat> oh, it was so nice, and the forecast I get on the computer kept saying, no rain, no rain. Joe said, well, it is cloudy, and it looks like it could, and I looked it up again, and I said, well, it's, it's been, it says cloudy through the day, but the chance of rain is very slim. I think it was like 10, 20 percent, and, you know, for here, that's pretty slim. So I had, you know, I had thought, uh, I'd probably, around six or so, I would maybe get on my scooter and go tootling around. I think it was around five o'clock, and it got really dark out. I remember looking out the window and I said, Joe, it's getting dark out. <laughs> so, huh. So, he said, well, it's been clouding over. I told you it's been clouding over. He said, the clouds are dark. So, he went and he looked out and he said, it's sprinkling. So, I decided right then, well, I guess I'm not going out on my scooter. <laughs> Within minutes, we had a deluge. It was sheets of rain. It didn't last a long time, but it was just one big sheet of rain it seemed like <laughs> so I didn't get on my scooter and I didn't scoot around town but I was glad I didn't get caught in it <laughs> which I very well could have if I had gone out just a little earlier than planned thinking it wasn't going to rain if you haven't gone and listened to any of June Gall's more recent videos what she's been doing lately is that woman can read to music or can speak to music if you've ever heard those you know a lot of the old time or sometimes in church where people would talk like a, read a poem or something to the music in the background that's what she's doing and she does it so beautifully. And the message is just so profound for, especially, con you know, considering who she is and what her limitations are. It just, it's, you have to listen to it. That's the only thing I can say. Just look her up, June Gall, Living Life on Oxygen. And it's just, I just could not believe how wonderfully her voice mixes in that. She's got a very good talent. <laughs> I did watch a movie. I had seen it, but I, I years ago I'd seen part of it. And it's such, I mean, it's not a movie for little kids at all. Not at all. But the story is so... Free, between the mother and the son and the captor and then later after they're, they're rescued that's <laughs> I guess giving you a little bit much but the storyline is so well drawn and it really it can tug it tugs your heart for this for this woman and this child 
And it also kind of gives gave me a glimpse into what it would be like to never be exposed to anything outside of one little space in your life. The movie's called Room. So if you ever get a chance to see it or rent it, I recommend it. I give, I give it double thumbs up. Like I said, it's probably not the best thing to let kids watch. But it's it's it just has such a grip on it just has such a grip on things like our fight against human trafficking and it gripped me. <laughs> you know, it's wonderful just to look outside and see a moth flying. It's either a large moth or a very small butterfly. And be able to see. <laughs> I mean, if you don't learn to marvel at nature, you don't see God. I mean, we see God is in here. God is in here. He's all around us. He created us to know him. But just the marvel of nature and the whole, for me, the whole theory of all this accidental coming together with some explosion or some just accidental amoeba <laughs> swimming out and becoming two legs. just goes right out the window for me. Uh, the Those who support that can have their, they can support that if they like, I just don't. <laughs> to me it just makes no sense because you have, if you go, no matter how far, how far back you go, even that small particle has to have been, it has to have come from somewhere. There has to have been something someone to have created this oh, I said something here a while back about talking about well, I was talking about how I did those plates on love hope love faith hope and love I gotta get it right you know Faith, hope, and love. When I made those plates, and they're done. They have been uh, glossed, or, yeah, they've been glossed. And so that glitter will now not be, hopefully, not be shedding off of them at any time. <laughs> but I think they turned out just beautifully. They're not perfect. They're perfectly imperfect. <laughs> I remember at the time, I said something about, one of these days I'll tell you about how I learned my, my personal take on how to love your enemy without having to call them your friend or be, you know, subjected to their punishment or their abuse or whatever and that is prayer I pray for my heart to be loving I get mad oh I get mad <laughs> if you ever followed me on Facebook on all of especially a couple of years or so ago yeah I get mad we're human and look at what King David, I mean, he, he, got, he got angry with his enemies, who wouldn't? But there has to be an opening for love. If we want love to fill hearts throughout the world, we have to learn to love those who don't like us. And you don't have to get yourself in their path. You don't have to put yourself there. Now, if they get in your 
get on your turf and start beating you up, you have a right to defend yourself. But you can still do it in a way where you feel love through God. That's how I do it. I, I'm not preaching this, but we are to pray and praying for the uh, praying for the enemy, praying for the person to soften their heart. That's the best explanation personally I can give. Because through God, he can do the loving for me. Now, I'm not saying we can't defend our country, defend ourselves. Definitely we can do that. But I think about when Peter took off, when Peter took his sword and cut the ear off of the soldier. And Jesus took it. He admonished Peter. He took the ear and he healed it back onto the soldier's head. Now, I'm not Jesus. <laughs> but that's loving your enemy. And the pilot and them may have felt like they killed him. People may say they killed him. Actually, he gave himself up because that was the plan. That was the plan. It's the only way we can ever get to him and be with him in a personal way. Okay, that's my salvation talk for today. So I'm just sitting here quietly. Just breathe. Breathe and be still. to finish here and say I love you be good to yourselves love yourselves because that is a command as well and all that breeze just heavy I just had a big old it just had a big old whoosh gust little had a big big old little gust a <laughs> big little gust <laughs> And blew right through here, and oh, it felt good. Fresh air. I am going to end my part of it here before I in before I show you the finishing touches that I have in the house. I love you. Be good to yourselves. Be good to others. Occupy your mind with things that are good. Things that are wonderful. In the worst of times, that's sometimes the only way to get through. So please do subscribe. Click that notification bell. Give us a thumbs up. Say, hmm, that's for you. <laughs> Give me a thumbs up and come back. Share this. Invite your friends. Tomorrow I'll probably be back in the 
craft room. So, we'll see you there. <laughs>